Still ahead on News Vision, smoothies and a zoo? We'll tell you where you can find both right here in South Florida. And see what one local animal shelter is doing to help some furry friends. Next. The University of Miami may not be considered this year's top party school, but it is not far behind. UM came in fourth this year on Playboy Magazine's annual listing of the top party schools in the nation. The University of Texas at Austin beat out all other schools to take this year's top spot. Other universities to make the list include Arizona State University and the University of Iowa. There are thousands of unwanted dogs and cats in South Florida, and it's the job of Miami-Dade Animal Services to battle this problem. UMTV's Diana Escobar has more on how they are doing it. The Animal Services Department was created in an effort to provide focused care for the county's animal population. Operations Manager Siomara Markovic tells us more about the shelter. It's the only open admission shelter in Miami-Dade County. Per county ordinance, our job is to ensure that the animals and the pets are safe in our community. Therefore, every dog and cat brought to the shelter will be accepted. Every year, over 37,000 animals go through these very doors. 7,500 of them are surrendered by their owners, and the rest of the animals received are strays. Although the numbers of animals coming into the shelter remain high, Ms. Markovich says things are getting better. Last year, over 8,300 animals found new homes. So in the last four years, we almost tripled the number of animals adopted to new families. Billy's my daughter. <laughs> Diana Alvarez, junior at the University of Miami, explains why she adopted her baby, Bailey. I had a beagle for three years, Roxy, that unfortunately died of lymphoma. By August, my house was so quiet that like nobody could stand, like not hearing the little jingle of the collar and stuff. So. Diana also explains other pros about adopting. Well, Roxy was actually from a breeder, and we think maybe inbreeding could have led to her getting cancer at such a young age because so it made space for another dog for its life to get saved, and it's also less expensive, <laughs> and the donation goes to a good cause. Before adopting or purchasing your new furry friends, do your research and make sure that you're ready for the lifelong commitments. For UMTV, I'm Diana Escobar. The Office of Naval Research is giving the University of Miami's College of Engineering a $1 million grant. The grant covers three years and will help UM engineers develop new methods for analyzing data. These computer programs will help make blending different kinds of data less time-consuming and easier to process. Every town has its quirky food joint where locals and out-of-towners just have to go. UMTV's Danny pa uh, Para went to Homestead to check out one sweet spot. If I told you there was a place where the fruit shakes were always sweet, where exotic creatures roamed, where a great bearded man stands tall. Is this heaven? No. It's Robert is Here. Located in the Redlands, Robert is Here is a country store like no other. It began as a tiny stand where six-year-old Robert Moling sold leftover cucumbers from the family farm. Fifty years later, it's a Miami icon. My dad had his, uh, his crop of cucumbers at the packing house. So he figured maybe they didn't see me here. So he put two big signs up telling people that I was here. So the signs simply read, Robert is here. And with the signs up, Robert is here, I sold out by 11.30, 12 o'clock. In a city ruled by supermarkets and megastores, this little stand in Homestead gives us the taste of the farm. And it tastes great. Oh, those milkshakes. The store boasts more than 20 succulent smoothies that seduce visitors from all over. Once we tried the shake, then we fell in love. I have a strawberry passion, it's really good. It's awesome. At first, the buzz around these tropical treats took Robert by surprise. Then people don't even know us as fresh fruit and vegetables and high quality that we want to be and are. They know us, oh, that's the place with the milkshakes. Robert grew up around animals. So it's no surprise he's got a mini zoo out back, complete with parrots and emus. And the kids love it. A visit to Robert is here isn't complete without getting to know Robert himself. He lives by a credo that is pure heartland. I don't like mediocrity. 
in any sense of the word, and I love old fashioned. It may be on the corner of nowhere and goodbye, surrounded by fields, but you can bet your last cup of guarapo Get out of here. <laughs> that Robert is here. For UMTV, I'm Danny Parra. The College of Arts and Sciences will be holding a bilingual poetry reading with Chilean poet Raul Zarita. The event will take place tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. in Shoma Hall and will be followed by a roundtable discussion. The event will be presented in both English and Spanish, with translations available if needed. It will also feature a book signing of Zarita's recently translated book, Purgatory. Admission is free. The Grove is a college hangout here in Miami. Bars, shops, restaurants, and entertainment. But this weekend, students can enjoy all of that while giving back. The Jammin' for Haiti concert is this Sunday from 5 to 7 p.m. You can enjoy jazz, pop, and Latin music while helping Haiti at the same time. All proceeds benefit the UM Global Institute Project MediShares Field Hospital in Haiti. You can support young musicians from the University of Miami Piano Preparatory Program, which will be one of many performances that night. Well, I guess it's that time. I'm graduating in May, and I would just like to send a heartfelt thank you to everyone, especially here at UMTV, for making these past four years truly incredible. I'll definitely miss it. Can you believe how fast time's gone by? I always look at senior classes, go, leave, and come, and I didn't know it was going to happen to me. you kind of in denial, but it's pretty sad, but I'm ready to go. You must be excited <laughs> for the future, though. I am. I'm ready. <laughs> Thank you for watching News Vision tonight. If you ever want to see old episodes of the show or watch other UMTV shows, you can do so on our website, umtv.miami.edu. News Vision returns on Tuesday. Have a great night.